This fight is not by might. We shine the law at night. That's why we lost the end before the start begins. This fight is not by might. You must understand that you can be in Lola and you are connected. You can be in Jaws and you are connected. You need to understand there is an angel your prophet carry. And when you are connected, distance is not a barrier. Long before the fight began, can defeat a man that has given victory. Fighting from victory. I'm fighting from victory. I'm fighting from victory. I'm fighting from victory. I'm fighting from victory. Somebody join the shirt. This fight is not by might, we shine the law at night. That's why we lost the end before the start begins. This fight is not by might. You must understand that you can be in Lola and you are connected. You can be in Jaws and you are connected. You need to understand there is an angel your prophet carry. And when you are connected, distance is not a barrier. Hallelujah. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. He is worthy to be praised and adored. class better than the way we came. Take all the glory in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Champions shout fire. Shout Ururu. Shout Muzuzu. Shout Mafura. Amen and amen. Praise God forevermore. Praise God forevermore. I want to thank the person of the Holy Spirit for the privilege to be here. Say thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. And also want to thank our father, Papa Joshua Igila. Say we love you, Papa. We love you, Papa. Amen and amen. Amen. You know, uh, uh, most holy esteemed Papa's mother passed this week. Amen. amen. And so we just want to just honor our papa's mother because without our papa's mother we will not have a covering amen and all of us in champions royal assembly worldwide in all our branches we want to honor our papa's mother if we can all just rise and just um observe a one minute silence even those watching us you can join us in honor of our papa's uh, 
mother. Praise God. Hallelujah. So let's begin. Praise God. Amen. Amen. Say, I love you, Lord. I love you, Lord. Let's take our seats. Praise God. Praise God. Why she come to someone and say, so nice to see you in church? Amen. She comes to someone. She comes to someone you have never you have never met. Say, so nice to see you in church. <coughs> Praise God. All right. Go to John chapter 14. John chapter 14. Are you in John chapter 14? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Let's read verses 26. Can we all look at this? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So let's read. One, two, go. But the Comforter, which is the Holy Ghost, whom the Father will send in my name, he shall teach you all things and bring all things to your remembrance. Let's read it again. Yes, sir. One, two, go. But the Comforter, which is the Holy Ghost, whom the Father will send in my name, he shall teach you all things and bring all things to your remembrance. Whatsoever I have said unto you. Praise God. Hallelujah. You know, we started a lesson last service. What was the title of that lesson? The Glorified Defeated Man. The Glorified Defeated Man. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. But the Lord told me to hold on because he wants us to talk to you about something. Yes, sir. Amen. And what we want to talk to you about is the impact of the Holy Spirit on your memory. Amen. Amen. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Oh, you don't need it. I receive it. I receive it. I receive it. I receive it. Yes. I receive it. Yes. Or the Holy Spirit's impact on your memory. God has planned that the Holy Spirit should enable your memory. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Because God knows you have the tendency to be forgetful. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. He knows you can be forgetful. Yes, sir. And he doesn't want that for you. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Thank you, Holy Spirit. And even Jesus is also concerned too. So he said, the comforter which is the Holy Spirit, some versions have it as Holy Spirit. This version here says Holy Ghost. But He's talking about the same person. Whom the Father will send in my name. He says he will teach you and then enable your memory. Amen. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Blessed be God. Blessed be God. Amen. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Because you can look this good, look very attractive, yet forgetful. And if you are very forgetful, you are not attractive at all. It means that your storage is leaking. 
And God doesn't want you to be someone that information slips from. Like that. So people like that. We've met people like that. Very forgetful. I used to think that I had a problem because I remember everything. I used to think so. Growing up, I used to think that I had a problem remembering everything. Because I was surrounded by people who were always forgetful. So at a point, I started saying, I wish I can forget like these people too. Because it was a common language around me. Oh, I forgot. Mm. Ah, I forgot this thing. Ah, ah I forgot my, my phone. Ah, I forgot this. I forgot that. Ah, I forgot the answer. I remembered it too, but ah, when I saw the question like this, I forgot cash. Help me. And that answer that you forgot, it cost you a whole year. Because you failed the exam, yeah. and you had to repeat one more year. He says, yeah, um, the Holy Spirit, when He comes, He will teach you. Yes, yes, sir. Sir. yes sir. And then bring your remembrance. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So, here we can see that the Holy Spirit can influence a man's memory. Wow. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. People always ask me sometimes, how come you remember scriptures? You know so many scriptures. This is the answer. Yes, sir. See, because the one the Holy Spirit teaches is the one whose memory he can influence. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Which means if you are not teachable, if you would not let him teach you, he won't have access to your memory. And that is why you have a lot of Christians suffering what you call memory loss. Yes. And today, it's a known disease. Yes. Yes. Some even forget their name. Jesus. Some even for, forget that they were supposed to, that they were even cooking. They left something Jesus. on the stove. And it cost the whole family, the whole house. They oh. lost the whole house. Everything burnt down. Mercy. God. Some may even go to the extreme and say it was a demonic attack. Mm. No, it was the loss of memory. Mm. You see, you, because such a person is not teachable. The person does not want the Holy Spirit mm. to teach him. Mm. Jesus said, until the Holy Spirit teaches you, he can never influence your memory. Think about a boss who keeps hearing an employee say, I forgot, I forgot. Ooh. Is that employee an asset or is what firing? And when they fire such employees, they say my boss doesn't like me, that's why. I think my boss is a racist. He says, he will teach you and bring all things, all, all, things. all things, with the exception of none. So you see, you have what it takes to remember all things. Oh, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You have it. Yes, sir. You are not receiving it. You already have yes, it. Sir. Yes, sir. It's not something you are trying to receive. 
If you are trying to receive it, then all we've been teaching you was a waste then. No. No. He says the same Holy Spirit mm -hmm. who gave you brains. Mm -hmm. He is the only one that can empower memory. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah. Truth. And to let you know how important your memory is. Or let's say the most consequent punishment for not engaging your memory is found in Luke chapter 16. Here was a story between Lazarus. Jesus actually was the one who narrated the story of Lazarus and the rich man. And see what Jesus, Jesus himself said when the rich man was in hell. Let's just start from verses 24. Or let's just start from verses 22. So it was that the beggar died, talking about Lazarus, and was carried by the angels to Abraham's bosom. The rich man also died and was buried. Verse 23. And he, being in torment in Hades, lifted up his eyes and saw Father Abraham afar off and Lazarus in his bosom. And he cried and said, Father Abraham, have mercy on me. Now, notice, have mercy of me and send Lazarus. Memories at work now. Even in the realms of the dead. Lazarus is dead. The rich man is dead. But here, Jesus is talking about a conversation that is, that is taking place in the realm of the dead. Mm. Yes, sir. And memory is what enabled the conversation. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. He said, Father Abraham, send Lazarus. Yes, sir. He remembered him. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. How was he able to do that? He mm. took torment. He took him being in the place of torment mm. to remember. Mercy. So it is either you allow the Holy Spirit to influence and empower your memory to always remember, or torment, hardship will do that. So Jesus here is the one narrating both stories. The Holy Spirit will either empower your memory, Jesus said, after he teaches you, or you'll be like the rich man in the place of torment, engaging his memory to seek for help. He says, send Lazarus to help me by dipping his finger in water. So you see, a man's memory, therefore, does not die. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. It's either hard, terrible circumstance awakens it, or you allow the Holy Spirit to help you. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Which is better. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Memory was at work, mm -hmm. even in the place of torment. Mm. Yes, sir. And it was the platform or the framework for a decent conversation. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. It became also, the, the conversation between Abraham and the rich man was a decent one. Yes, 
They were not shouting at each other. But memory was was what created the platform. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So that's how even powerful a man's memory can be. Yes, sir. So it means, therefore, your memory is really not your brain. Because the rich man died. Mm -hmm. And the brain mm -hmm. is an organ of the body. Yes, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Amen. Amen. Now, how are you, sir? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And so it was the body that was buried. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So, where is memory? We started a lesson, body and soul. Yes, sir. So, memory is an ability in the soul. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Why the brain is an organ in the body. Yes, sir. Wow. Yes, sir. So which means anyone can be a genius. Wow. No one was ever born a genius. Yes, sir. It has to do with how you have allowed your soul to be trained. Oh. And what information. We dedicated a baby and uh, many years ago. And, uh, this baby, when the mother was pregnant with the child, she almost died. She had lost about three. Then and she'll be having excruciating pain. She'll be rolling on the floor. <laughs> and so. I was invited to come and pray for her. And by the Holy Spirit, we prayed for her. That day when we even entered the house, she was looking like a mad woman. Mm. She's not going through labor, she's just pregnant. Too. So we prayed for her. She was relieved. She was asking me, will I still have the pain? I said, no, don't worry, he's gone. I said, but when you have this child, she said, will I give birth to this child? I said, you will. And we said, when you have give birth to this child, let us know who we'll dedicate your child. Now, that child, it so happened that I did not have the opportunity to be around to dedicate the child. I had traveled somewhere, but the child was born. So I told the father of the child, I, I texted him what to say over the child. Yes, sir. And we did. And he called us and said he did what I told him to do. That child, at four years old, Harvard University came to pick him up. Mm. At four years old. The child should be around six or seven years old now. Yes. Yes, sir. But at four years old, he was doing a PhD program yeah. with Harvard in mathematics. Wow. He was solving problems. Yes, they took him from his parents. They gave him a nanny. And when they asked him, how are you able to solve this problem? He said, oh, Jesus showed me what to do. Hey. But four years old. From, you know where they take children to? Daycare. Yes, yes, it was from there to Harvard. Oh, they did not need to go to high school. On common speed. About two other children were dedicated like that. Have three of them like that. Exceptional mm. children. But this one was very outstanding mm. at four years Thank old. Oh, yes. Even the mother came to see us one day in church. She said, Can I ask you a question? She said, she said Please tell me, who are you? I said, Don't worry about me. Because it was from there we discovered that a child who is that exceptional becomes a property 
to either the university or to the U.S. government. The parents have no right to gain on the child. They only visit the child. But what do you think is at work? His soul. His soul is alive. Yes, sir. So you see, memory here, or remembrance, is not a working of your brain. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. It is an ability from your soul. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. To be able to release information mm -hmm. that it has stored. Yes. And one thing about remembrance is to bring out the most accurate answer in dealing with a circumstance. True. You know, there are some people, mm -hmm. they will call us and tell us they have a problem, mm -hmm. a challenge. And first of all, when they call us and tell us they have a problem, I always say you don't have a problem, you only have a challenge. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, brothers, I have this challenge. What's the matter? Oh, this thing happened, this thing happened, this thing happened. I just didn't know what to do. I decided to do this thing, this thing. And I'm always baffled. Mm. How can you decide to do that thing? When just two Sundays ago I preached this thing, you were in church. Mm. See? But just honestly, it was after everything I later remembered. Something is wrong with your memory. Yes, sir, yes, sir. You, your memory is not arranging the right information when yes, necessary. Yes, Jesus said the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit. He will do it for you. Yes, sir. Amen. Amen. Because the Holy Spirit can see the circumstances yes, coming ahead. Yes, sir. So the Holy Spirit arranges all the answers to every circumstance in your memory. True. And that is why now, when circumstances arise, you find yourself always knowing exactly what to do. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. But how can you marry a man who does not know exactly what to do? Mm. And how can you marry a woman who really doesn't know exactly what to do? Because you were not around. You see me, are you saying you couldn't do this? I just didn't know what to do. You know you are the one handling it. What if I die tomorrow? <laughs> that is why when you look at it again, mm -hmm. you hardly really feel sorry for, no, not you now. For somebody like me, I, I really don't feel for widows. Not that I don't care about them. I really don't feel for widows, particularly when her suffering is not necessary. Because there are widows who are doing very well. It's true. It's true. There are true. widows who are richer than even a man and his wife still alive. But you see a lady who was once happily married, successful, mm. with her husband, the man dies and the family is now in hardship. It's true. How come you couldn't remember the way your husband used to do business? Gosh. Good point. Jesus said the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit. He will teach you. Are you offended? No, 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 sir, no, sir. no sir. The Holy Spirit. That's why there are some widows I don't feel sorry for. Mm. I say, Madam, come on, man. Just because your husband died doesn't mean your world has finished. Mm -hmm. You know, you, you used to be rich. Yeah, it was him. It was my husband. The family took all the property. The family took all the property. You think the family took all the property? No. I can tell you that the family did not take all the property. Mm. I mean, the family took what? The property? Mm. Yeah, all that my husband worked for. But this was the man you were sleeping with every day on the bed. Mm. Can you still remember some of the things he used to tell you about the business? Mm. 
You are concerned about the property his siblings took. Mm -hmm. Didn't you see some documents on the table one time in his dining table? Didn't you see all this? You went, ah, yeah. Why do you think? Because memory here means forceful remembrance yes. of what you once saw in the past. Yes. You saw his document, you saw some documents huh. on some businesses. You saw some names on certain documents, people he was doing business with. You don't have access to those kind of people anymore. He said, well, after he died, they left. Why didn't you go looking for them? You think they've forgotten you? So his siblings took all the property, but the siblings did not take his friends, his business partners. Don't you have memory of them? You used to attend parties with these people. So there are some widows I don't really feel sorry for. Forgive me, but I don't. There are some you can tell, this one, they don't have anything. Then those are the kind of people you can help. In fact, there are some widows who will tell you, don't help me. It's true. Yes, sir. It's true. It's true. <sighs> it's all. all that you've been praying for, all the help you want God to give you is in your memory. All the help you need is in your memory. Particularly if you are someone you allow the Holy Spirit to teach. Yes, sir. Well, like we said, some people say, oh, I didn't remember again. Yes, it's true, you preached it. I said, but what? You were sitting before me in church. You forgot. Mm. But you remember what your husband did to you last year. Mm. But two weeks ago, a message of two weeks ago, you forgot. Gosh. You see, the thing is, the way information were arranged yes, yes, in sir. your memory. You find the past years, information of the past several years, more current and relevant than the ones given to you today. That's why it took you time to remember what we even preached to you or what our papa preached. Too many Christians are forgetful. Too many are forgetful. The very fact that you were privileged to be once close to an influential person, you didn't remember how they used to do things. Why do you think the Holy Spirit gave you access to an influential person? Paul said to Timothy, the things that you have learned of me, that you have seen in me, do and commit to faithful men. The things you have learned of me. Sir, there are too many. You taught me so many things. Doesn't matter. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Today it sounds very fashionable, mm -hmm. even in conversations. Oh, I forgot. Mm. Oh, it didn't occur to me. That it didn't occur to you is the problem. That it didn't occur to you. But it sounds fashionable in a conversation. I didn't remember. Ash, it skipped me. You see, it, it sounds touche. It sounds very sophisticated, even in the conversation. But what you don't know is that those are spiritual errors. Mm. Even though they sound fashionable in conversations, those are spiritual errors. Mm. And those are the things, those errors are the reason why you will not excel. Mm. You see why the Holy Spirit cannot even trust you with things that can give you advantage over others because you will forget. You will forget. And the Holy Spirit knows you. Why are you so good at remembering things Negative things that happened 15 years ago, but what was recently taught you? <laughs> Even in your management training at work, you forgot. And you made a silly mistake at work. Now you got yourself fired. Mm. You say, only this thing, but the, when they bring the videos of the management training, they told you this thing can cost you your job. Learn it, learn it. 
You forgot. You forgot. He says, <laughs> okay, we are still at Lazarus. Okay. But what we were about to show you was when he said, wait, hold on, don't change this one yet. Um, Jesus said, he will bring all things. Yes, sir. Not only Christian things. Yes, sir. All, all things. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. To your remembrance. Yes, yes, sir. Yes, sir. All things. So, it is whether or not your memory has capacity for all things. Mm. Yes, sir. Do you have it? Yes, sir. I've met many dull Christians who have been going to church for many years. And when I was privileged by God to be a pastor, I said I will not raise dull people. Yes, sir! If you were yes. dull and you joined us, if you listen to us in th within three months, your mind will change. Yes, sir! Yes, sir! Yes, sir. Yes, sir. All right. Somebody said, Brother, I can't be a member of your church. I said, Why? He said, you put my brain to work all the time. <laughs> and that's not what I taught church to be. I said, what was church supposed to be? A place where you just come and rest in the presence hey! of the Lord. He said. Just keep preaching and choir will sing, listen to good music. In fact, I, 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 I easily flow with music more than the sermon. Oh. But for you, brothers, your sermon does not let me rest. <laughs> Even after service, within the week, I keep hearing your voice following me. <laughs> but I say, please, I don't want that anymore. I'm going back to my former church. I say, it's okay. But brother, say, before I go, please, can you do me one favor? I say, what? Promise me that anytime I need prayer, you always hey! ask me. I say, I hope so. <laughs> You see, some people don't want their brains to be, to be tampered with. Yes, 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 yes. Although your memory is not your brain, but at least brain is for reasoning. Yes, sir. It is what you have reasoned that goes to the storage of your memory. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. That's true. So which means your brain is a filter. Mm. It's true, sir. True. It filters information. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You guys say no, brothers. Hmm. Even within the week, Ah, my brain is still filtering what you said. Ah, I can't be a member of your church. I don't want to, ah, no, no, no. no I don't want to stress myself. Stress. stress. Okay, fine. But, but what do you really take God for? Stupid? <laughs> Let's see what Abraham said to the rich guy. There's something I want to show you. Verse 24 again. Let's read to verses 25. Read. And he cried and said, Father Abraham, have mercy upon me, and said Lazarus, that he may dip the tip of his finger in the water, and pull my tongue, for I am tormented in his way. <laughs> okay, read. But Abraham said, Stop, stop, stop. Stop, stop. 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 Don't read that way. Read it again now. Carefully. Now, notice. He said, remember. Your memory, very, very important, even in the realms of the dead. Wow. And the realm of the dead is in the realm of the spirit. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So which means your memory is not only for this plane of life. Mm. It is a useful material. It is a useful tool yes, sir. 
to have a well-coordinated conversation yes, yes, with sir. another person in the afterlife, wow. irrespective of either heaven or hell. Mm. Mm. Your memory. Yes, sir. So how can you call yourself a dullard? Mm. Or why do you behave as one? So I say, you know, I am not smart. Who told you that? Wait until you see fire. Wait until you see trouble. Okay. Since you say you are not smart, wait until you are in trouble. You will know you are very smart. You know, there's a deception that a lot of even Americans have and people around the world that the CIAs, the FBIs, the NSAs, they pick the most brilliant set yes. of people. Yes, sir. Yes. That's true. Yes, sir. It's not necessarily true. Oh. They pick the most skillful people. Yes, sir. Yes. Not the most brilliant. People with skill. Shooting a gun, does it, do you use brain to do it? No. Oh, it's a skill. Yes, sir. Is it not skill? Yes, sir. Right? Yes, sir. Right? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Now, w this thing we call intelligence. Yes, sir. Intelligence. Yes, sir. What do you think it is? It's an activity of the brain. Yes, sir. Right? Yes, sir. Right? Yes, sir. Do you know what intelligence really is? Bringing pieces together. Wow. Pieces. Uncoordinated pieces. Bringing them together. Yes, to make a coordinated remark. Yes, sir. With evidences to prove. Anyone can do that. Why? Because it's a skill. Yes, sir. Skill. Yes, sir. And it's a skill you acquire over time by reason of experience. Yes, sir. Yes, so sir. documented experiences is what they are teaching people. Yes, sir. Yes. And you find the person good at how to yes. coordinate because the person has been trained. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Because experience is documented for over a hundred years with an agency. Yes. Has been documented. They have dealt with all kinds of humans in this past hundred years. So they have well articulated, documented training materials yes, sir. Yes, sir. for their officials. Yes, sir. And so they come out looking very exceptional. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Because this is someone with the wealth of what? Information yes, of over a hundred years. And the training is still ongoing. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So you think that they are super, yes. super humans. Yes. The Holy Spirit can do a better job. Yes, yes, sir. Yes, sir. This is the Holy Spirit will bring all things. Amen. Yes, sir. Oh. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Because those guys, even in the process of their job, yes, sir. even sustain terrible injuries, even in their minds. Mm -hmm. Many of them lose their minds. Yeah. Many of them lose their families. Yeah. Many of them even run, prefer to live in the bush true. than living in the city. Yes, sir. Because true. their mind is all messed up with information. But not with the Holy Spirit. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You are not getting it. Yes, sir. You are sleeping. No, no, sir. No, no. See, that's the thing. Even sleeping. Can't you see? Your, see, your brain is tired. You see, listen. No memory ever sleeps. Wow. But a man's brain can sleep. Mm. This guy is in hell. And Abraham is telling him, engage your memory. Yes, sir. So, how do I know that my memory is at work? Focus. Mm. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Whatever I choose to focus Jesus. on. Yes, sir. Yes. Whatever I choose to make. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. See, as I'm preaching, I'm talking to the Lord. Yes, sir. Should I really continue this thing? Or let me just. I'm talking to him. Let me change it. Yes, uh, this kind of information is for me yes, and for. <laughs> I don't think you really need it. Focus. Focus. So what I choose 
to focus on, yes, sir. Yes, sir. I certainly will not forget. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Very true, sir. Yes, sir. Truth. Truth. And so that guy, when he told us he can't be a member of our church, is because I was awakening the abilities of focus. Yes, yes, sir. yes, sir. yes sir. And he considered it stressful. Yes. This is the reason why things are slow in people's lives. They pray for speed, but they have no focus. So things are slow. And you can see a gang leader who did not go to school. He can articulate and run a powerful gang organization. Yes, sir. And you are amazed. Yes, sir. But the one who went to school can't do that. Yes, Why? Because he made it his focus. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. He has marked it. Yes, sir. There were nights he did not sleep. Mm -hmm. And that's why he stayed the boss. But you are sleeping. You are sleeping. And think about it. If the Lord should show you the things you have missed because of sleep, you will never sleep again. If you know the opportunities, destiny opportunities you have missed because of sleep, you will not sleep. Look at you. Some of you, at the end of the day, listen, what you don't know is that the way you behave in church will reflect in your job. Write it down. The way you behave in church will certainly reflect in your job. Yes, sir. That's how they will, we will not be surprised that they so caught you sleeping at work because you do it in church. The Holy Spirit has no access to you. And maybe that day, the one who should lift you came that day and caught you sleeping because the day you were supposed to receive an information from church. You slept. It happens to people. There are some people, you, we already know, we are all going to the same church. We already know this one can never be rich. We can have conversations of oh, wealth, but you can tell this one can never have money. This one can never have money. You know, somebody who knew me then, when I used to live in Brooklyn, yes, saw me recently and said, man, man, you changed. Man, you are very successful. I said, are you surprised? He says, I said, I'm disappointed that you were surprised. I said, this was supposed to be my life. I said, when I came, because you saw the way I looked when I first came to America, you thought that was my end. He said, I'm really surprised. I said, I'm disappointed that you're surprised. Mm. You never thought I could excel. You thought I was going to be like you. Mm. Because you don't know the capacity of my memory. Yes, sir. Before coming, listen, what has given me success, I did not get it in America. Mm. It was from Nigeria. Yes, sir. The information I got that. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. The things the Holy Spirit taught me yes, sir. is what has given me success in America. Yes, not sir. world, not the information I gathered in America. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And I say that respectfully. I appreciate yes, America, but what has given me success is not the information I got in the United States of America. Yes, sir. Because, because I'm still new here. Yes, sir. You have lived all your life here. It's true. It's true. Okay. And that's what we're telling. Yes, sir. It is from the Holy Spirit. Yes, sir. He will teach you, he says. Amen. Focus. And you sleep on you. It's hard. There are some people, they are too slow in achievements. They are too slow. Because it takes a while for their memory to gravitate towards the right information. Mm. It takes them a while. That's why they are too slow. There's no demon fighting them. They are just too slow. Slow. They are very locomotive. Their brain is very locomotive. Mm. Like that. Mm -hmm. Very locomotive. And, and isn't it amazing that we are all excited to go and buy an apple 
phone. But someone's brain is at work yeah. producing exactly. it. Producing it. Exactly. But oh, the reason why you bought that phone was just to take pictures. Really? Mm. Anywhere you go to. Mercy. That thing you are using to take pictures. Someone created it. Ah. Someone's mind at work did it. <laughs> you have not started. Just said to leave. There's a way. You, listen, go home today and sit down and say, man, look, I've not been serious. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. The guy's mind created something that your money bought. Mm. All the hours you did, you saved up to go and buy something one person's mind created. Okay. Yes, sir. That is true. <laughs> and look at you. Ah. Listen, don't let your life be hard. Yes, yes sir. sir. Let's show you something. Go back to John 14. Let's show you something. So, which means, no matter how old I get, yes, yes, sir. yes. I should be, I should, I should be more potent. Yes, yes, sir. Sir. yes sir. But you know, for the people of the world, the reverse is the case. Yes. The older they get, the more they become forgetful, yes. because they think. Memory is a product of the brain. But it is not. Yes, sir. It's from the soul. From the soul. And the soul of a man never ages. Yes. It never dies. Yes, sir. It is the soul of man that will answer on judgment day. Yes, not your physical true. body. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I once had a professor. I mean, a professor. You know, today in America, a kindergarten teacher can be called professor. Yes, yes, no, yes, no. In my first degree, I had professors. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. It, yes, sir. it is their degree. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> professors. Professors. They have PhD, then Doctor of Science, then whatever. As I say, professor before full professor. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. As a degree. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I hope you know. Yes, yes, sir. Sir. yes, sir. Not one. Amen. Okay. But his name is Professor Oyi Ogumba. Mm. Oyi Ogumba. was among the first set of Nigerians who left the shores of Nigeria to go and school in the United Kingdom. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And this professor, the British accent, yet he was never born in the UK, but had uncommon mastery ended up becoming professors in Oxford University. Wow. Then finally decided to come home. The university I graduated from in my first degree, he personally designed the program wow. for all the faculties. Yeah. Is that brilliant? Yes, sir. Wow. But, and he was my professor. <clears throat> you know when you are graduating from college, you do project, right? Yes. Yes, sir. Yes. What do you call it here? Capstone. Capstone. What? What do you call it? Capstone. Okay, capstone. We call it project. Yes, sir. Now, only six of us were willing to do project for him to be our supervisor. He only supervised six of us. Other people ran away from him. <laughs> now, if I tell you that I rewrote chapter one of my project over 200 times, and then, out of the six of us, I was the only one who finally made it through with him. Yeah. You know when, and I will tell you why I'm telling you about this professor. He was a fascination to me. I, while others were getting frustrated, 
die. He is telling them what they are writing is not good enough. This, go and do this. And see me in three months' time because I have other engagement. Why he's doing all those things? And the people were getting frustrated. For me, I was fascinated. I was fascinated at his brilliance. Okay. Let me tell you one of the things that fascinated me. Yes, sir. That's why for those of you who sleep in church, I know you are sleeping. When you are sleeping, I know you are sleeping. But Professor Onye Ogumba, okay. who supervised my project work, when I'm reading my paper to him, I will stand before him. He will sit on his chair. The moment I start reading, he will fall asleep. But he is rapt attentive. He is even snoring. He is rapt attentive. When I'm making reference to an anthology, an anthology book, and I mention the wrong page, yeah. he will say, hold on, this, 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 this oh, is the correct is page. <laughs> then he will say, continue. You. And he is not just closing his eyes, he is really sleeping. He is really, really sleeping. Now, go and find out. When you are sleeping, your brain is sleeping. Yes, yes, sir. Yes, sir. But how do you think he's able to do that? His memory is fully at work. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And that was the reason why I was allowed to graduate. The very fact that he's, I was the only person who finally made it with him. You see, Professor Onye Ogumba was your supervisor. You, you come and graduate. Go, go. <laughs> go. You try. <laughs> but for me, instead of getting angry, I was always fascinated that this man is really sleeping. Honestly. But fully awake. But he's sleeping. Then I later discovered, I read a story once. I heard a story once of this Einstein. Yes. Yes, That's exactly how he does his invention. That's mm. how he gets his invention through sleep. Mm. Wow. I later discovered it's exactly the same thing. And then in metaphysics, I later discover it's in between two realms. Mm -hmm. But someday we'll discuss that. Mm. So memories can juggle realms. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. But let's leave that. That's why we're telling you, we're asking you, who told you that you were dull? Wow. Who told you that you are not brilliant? You just believe the lie. Who told you that things are difficult? This course is difficult. Who really told you that? See, no child was ever born a genius. No child. No child. That's why every child talks stupid when they were first born. Amen. Does the child not do Yes, sir. Right? Yes. Say it again, sir. Babble. Exactly. Does that make sense? No. So no child was born a genius. This thing has to do with allowing spirits to allow your soul to dominate your body. Yes, sir! Yes, sir. Yes, sir. That's it. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You know, <clears throat> when I tell people I've never finished the Bible, yeah. I've never finished the Bible from Genesis to Revelation, some people don't believe. Why do I need to do that, really? And I've met people who have finished the Bible many times, yet miserable. And yet I'm teaching them. I said, the Bible you finished, I'll teach you from it. And they even asked me, how come I know so much? 
He's inside. Yes, sir. Yes, He's sir. not here. He's from here. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> He's not from here. Yes, sir. He's not brain. Yes, yes sir. sir. You were reading the Bible as a brain work. So you did the one year plan, two year plan. And those things are good. Please do. But don't think that is what will give you an advantage over yes, others. Sir. Even Father Abraham told the rich man, remember. Wow. Don't be a fool here. Remember. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Even in air fire, they don't want fools. Yes, sir. <laughs> <laughs> don't be a fool. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. That's more torment for you. Uh-huh. If you go there. Now, verses 26. John 14, verses 26. We, we, we want you to see something. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Then we'll close. Oh. Have you been blessed so far? Yes, sir. Yes. 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 Jesus here says, But the Holy Spirit, the Comforter, yes, sir. Yes, sir. He will teach you. Yes, sir. That means he will arrange information for you. Wow. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Amen. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Amen. This is what you are supposed to know when you are 15. This is what you are supposed to know when you are 17. Yes, this is what you are supposed to He will arrange it. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And bring the right people wow. that will give you access to those information. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Then he would bring all things to your remembrance. Now, that word remembrance is what the Holy Spirit told me to focus on today. Yes, sir! And, and that word remembrance yes, is it's, it's a Greek word that is a very funny Greek word. Yes, sir! It's the word hupo Mimnesco. Hupo Mimnesco. Mim. H U P O M I M N E S. Ascent over the S. Ascent over the E, sorry. K O. Ascent over the O. Hupo Mimnesco. Now let me let, let me let me ask you a question. Yes sir. Yes sir. Let's ask you a question. What, what what's the meaning of the word prompt? To prompt. Prompt. Yes sir. Quick to bring up. To bring up. Yes sir. To bring up. Quick to do. Persuade. No. To prompt. To necessitate. Yes. If you say quick Mm-mm, quick, necessitates. That's very ideal. Okay. Eh? okay, let's put it this way. Encourage. Encourage is good, but encourage is not really tight. Do you understand? Accelerate. I think that would be the word. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Do you understand? Yes, sir. I need to get to church on time now. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So you slam on the yes, sir. Ja- yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So would you agree? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Even in physics, yes, they talk about force, acceleration, and all those things. Yes, sir. Okay. Now here, he's saying, "Hupo minesco means the Holy Spirit." What was that word again? Necessitate. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. He will forcefully okay. accelerate a memory, a remembrance. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. He will prompt a remembrance to yes, you. Sir. That means he will suddenly push it into you. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You find yourself, you want to you, you had an information. You wanted to react in a certain way. Then you said, wait, wait, wait. Yeah, no. Yeah. 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 
Let me do this. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Amen. Do you understand? Yes, sir. You were supposed to. Everyone expected you to yes, go yes, react this way. Yes, All of a sudden, you were bad. Then you held yes, yourself. Yes, sir. So, He just said, no, there's no need for it. Exactly. Don't, don't be afraid. Yes, then you went and you fixed everything. Yes, he said, how did you know? Remember. Even for you, you can't tell. Yes, sir. He says, that's the Holy Spirit. He will prompt a memory. Amen. He will, yes, sorry, you already have the memory, but he will prompt yes, a remembrance. Yes, that means yes. it could be an information that you had gathered 15 years ago wow. that was necessary now. Yes. And all of a sudden, the Holy Spirit, out of the pile of storage of information, wow. the Holy Spirit brought it to the summit suddenly. Yes, 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 yes. So here you are looking at a walking. Yes, sir. That the Holy Spirit will be doing with your yes, mind. Yes, sir. Amen. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Take your seat, let's go. If you see a lion lying down, yes. they look lazily stupid. Yes. 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 Even the way he would just be sluggish, yes. turning his neck. Yes. Yes. But let him see an antelope. Yes. He will not even suddenly move. It will be. But when the right time comes, you will see acceleration. Yes, sir. You will see force. Yes, sir. Momentum. Yes, sir. Amen. And even the what kills the animal is the heat. Yes, sir. It's not even the bite. Exactly. Some animals have escaped lion bites before. Yes, it is the impact. Exactly. The collision. Yes, sir. Pull. Yes, sir. That's what he's saying, the Holy Spirit. Yes, sir. Do you understand? Yes, sir. The answer to that problem will just hit you suddenly. Yes, but, yes, but it's for those who have allowed him to teach them. So here, Jesus was revealing a secret. This was what was always happening to me. Because people always wondered how come Jesus had every answer. Okay. And Jesus is saying, this is what is happening. Because it took him 30 years of study yes. to have a successful three years ministry. He answered every question. Yes, sir. Never shied away from any question. Yes, sir. Why? The Holy Spirit enabled his memory. Yes, sir. So, which means no Christian who allows the Holy Spirit to teach him or her should ever suffer memory loss. Yes, sir. No. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. And this professor that I had, he told me he was born into a Christian home, but he used to mock Christians and claim to be an atheist. But... His memory was super. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> Listen, there's a way your brain, your intelligence, the way you coordinate information, there's a way to walk. And people will even think you take drugs. Mm. Say, man. Yes, sir. You just know things. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Do you know that anything your eye sees goes straight to your story? Yes, wow. yes, Truth. It is whether or not there is enough force to pull it yes, to your brain. Yes, sir. Not that you don't have the information. Every poor man has the information to be rich. Yes, yes, sir. There's no force to pull it to their memory. That's why a rich man can come and build Walmart in a poor neighborhood. 
and he's a billionaire. He's listed on stock market, on the stock market, but the money he's making is coming from the poor. It's true. It's true. It's true. It's true. The poor makes the rich rich. It's true. It's so true. It's very true. So, not that you are out of ideas. You don't. You don't lack ideas. It is whether or not your memory has force. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Force of remembrance. Yes, yes sir. sir. Let's give you one more scripture. Amen. In our next class, we'll continue. Amen. First John chapter 2. Because you need to do something. Yes, yes sir. Yes, sir. With yourself. Yes, yes sir. Yes, sir. You wear this nice wig and you don't remember anything. The moment is on your head like this, pa. You forgot it. And the guy will go and do nice haircut. You know those kind of people who carry combs on the streets. They will comb it every time, from time to time. <laughs> carry me out. Do you look this good? Yet the head does not remember anything. First John chapter 2, let's look at verses 20. Notice what he's saying. He says, but you have an unction from the Holy One, and you know what it is. He says, you know. The word know is the word ginosko, which means acquainted. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. See, here, you have your computer, your laptop. Yes, yes, sir. Sir. yes sir. There are some things you can. Yes. You can move around with yes. your laptop. Yes, you, can, yes, you can play around it. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. But there's an expert in yes. it. Yes, sir. Who can do something with your laptop and you'll be amazed. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. But, but at least for you, you can still, you can do off and on. Yes, you can go micro, you can go to Microsoft, you know the basics exactly, the basic commands. He says here when it comes to all things, you still have basic commands. Yes sir. So he says here, but you have an unction from the Holy One and you know all things. Wow. That should make me Omniscient, then. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Since I know all things. Yes, Go to verse 27. You will not know something that you don't do. <laughs> but the anointing which you have received abided in you, and you need that no man teach you. But the same anointing teaches you all things. So it is one thing to know all things, is another thing to be taught all things. Yes. Being taught all things is what can power memory. Yes, sir. Knowing things is why you are forgetful. <laughs> yes, sir. How many of you have ever forgot something then you remembered? Yes, sir. But it was too late. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And you felt to. Oh, ah! And I know this thing, no? Yes, sir. Is that not what you will say? Yes. I know this thing. It's true. It is one thing to know, it's another thing to be taught. There are many Christians who know, but not many Christians are taught. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. That's the difference. Yes, sir. Abraham was teaching that guy in here, remember. He was not teaching him. Remember. 
This is beyond recognition. You can recognize Lazarus, but now remember how you once enjoyed your life. Remember. Abraham was not teaching him how to engage memory. <laughs> Abraham was simply telling him, don't be a fool, man. Even in your torment, you are still acting this way. It is one thing to know things. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. See, you may, <clears throat> just because you, you take your mother's clothes sometimes or your father's jacket sometimes, you do some trials, does not mean you know fashion. You, you can teach, you understand fashion. Yes, you may have an idea, you can read this thing. Yes, things on fashion, you can read about makeup. Yes. The nitty gritties of it, there are people who can teach it. Yes. So I'm good at marketing. Anybody I tell about this uh, iced tea, they buy it, you know. Iced tea. <laughs> I'm a good marketer. They say I can market even dead bodies. People will buy. Oh. Oh. <laughs> it's true. It's true. Yeah, come now. Come to the reward. And market is less. That's where you now see masters. They tell you this person is a master salesman. You will, then they'll begin to tell you the intricacies. Yes, sir. Then you discover, oh, oh, you didn't know. Notice, he says you have an unction to know, yes. but there's an anointing to teach. Yes, sir! Yes, sir! Yes, sir! Yes, sir. <laughs> so, the anointing there is referring to teachers. People anointed, like the way we're teaching yes, you now. Sir. Yes, sir! We're telling you things you didn't think of. Not that you didn't know it. We've not really said anything new. But you've been shouting since. <laughs> we didn't really say anything new. But here yeah, he's telling you, don't be a fool who always says, I know that. You know, there are some people, when you want to tell them something, say, I know that, I already know that. I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. Yet yeah, they still make the mistake. He said there is... There is the one who knows all things. There is the one who can teach all things. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Lord have They want to tell you something. Don't go there. I know, I know, I know, I know. I'm not supposed to go there. How many times will you keep telling me? The person still in that trouble. He said, but didn't I tell you? He said, I was thinking that I could just do this. <laughs> So he's telling you two categories of people you have in the church. Those who know all things. Anything they say. Do you know about Sister Sister Risi is getting married? Say, yeah, I know. I know she's getting married. Ah. How did you know? Say, I heard it yesterday. I know she's getting married. Another one is saying we are the one planning the wedding. Have you ever heard a lady say, let me, let me tell you about men. Say, say ah, I know men. No. <laughs> you were supposed to know one man. Yeah. Just only one. You knew men. Yeah. 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 Yet, with all the men you know. Hi. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> exactly. You are still single. And none of them want to marry you. Say, mm, I don't want to marry them. I don't want any nonsense, man. I don't want any, you don't want any nonsense, man. You won't go, you are too much. Yes, sir. 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 So, are you going to live on the unction or are you going to live on the anointed? On the anointed! And Jesus said, the Holy Spirit. 
will teach you. So that means the Holy Spirit uses what? His anointing. Yes. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. That means there are people the Holy Spirit has picked, yes, anointed mm. to teach. To teach all things. Yes, sir. The second time, the first time Jesus visited me, there are some things I haven't said, he told me. But one of the things he told me, which I've never really said, was he said, make sure you have knowledge of all things. Mm. He used the word knowledge. Mm. Yes, sir. Yes. Yes, sir. Have knowledge of all things. Mm. Yes, sir. And I discovered that in relating with our Papa, Papa Joshua Aguila, our Papa can ask me any question from any angle. It's true. You tell me, okay, what's, what's this? Uh, 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 that, that's good. I'll find out. Then you tell me, man, you, you were very correct. Man, that's good. Keep it up. Keep it up. Keep it up. Mm. See, because there are, some past, there are some people I ask things. They don't, in fact, there's, there's no point talking to them. Mm. Their brain is sleeping. They are not interested. Mm. And when you see our papa today, beyond preaching, Analyzing matters, you begin to wow. Mm. And you begin to wonder, well, I thought it's the only Bible he knows. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's because you think he, you know all things. That's why you thought it was the only Bible he knows. See, that's the problem. Mm. See, you are the reason why you are failing. And you can be the reason why you should succeed. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And what is the secret? Be teachable. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Allow yourself to be teachable. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. If you are not teachable, you can be a man whose memory is alive. Yeah. Yes, sir. So go home today. Of course you will go home. Won't you go home? Go home today. And then ask yourself, what have I been using this my this my head to do? Start with your head first. Uh -uh. You know test questions. Those of you preparing for exam, test questions that you did it and the ones you failed. Uh -uh. Ask yourself, how can I fit this thing? Uh -huh. Someone knows it to pass. Mm -hmm. uh -uh. Mm -hmm. And every interview you go to, see it as a school. Yes, sir. And I don't know what some of you, when I used to go for interviews for a job, I used to hold a part, writing part. Yes, when they're asking me questions, I'll be writing. I don't look, and the first thing I learned is, of course, they will introduce themselves, so I write their name. So, Mr. McIntosh. Mm -hmm. Sir, so, what did you say your name is again, Mr. Mm -hmm. Kennedy? Okay. Hi. Mrs. Sheila, oh yeah, mm -hmm. right. So that if Mrs. Sheila asks you a question, you say, oh yes, Mrs. Sheila. See, now you're making it personal. Yes. Mm -hmm. You can't remember their name. And they just told you now. This, and you expect to get the job. They ask you a question. You say, well, well, you've already lost the job. You can't even remember their name. And they told you their name. It's true. So, true. And you think you are excellent. Yeah, true. You go to an interview. Say, so my name is Osi King. I'll be interviewing you today. So, oh, thank you, Mr. King. Yes. Mm. See, uh, he has memory. He remembers my name. Mm. Say, man, tell us about yourself. Say, well, you call the person's name. I say, thank you. I'm so, so, so. But while you're talking, you'll be calling the person's name. Mm. Yes, mm. Yes, Interview is supposed to be personal. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. That's why it's not a public thing. I just said, look, I, oh God, give me this job. <laughs> Let him just give me this job. 
If they don't give me this job, I will die tonight. Lord, give me this job. <laughs> and see the person that they want to give you. See, I've been in management before. I have met all kinds of people at the interview, and I'll be looking at them like this because I knew how they dealt with me when I was looking for jobs. Mm -hmm. I recall there was one guy who lived with us. I said, You are going for social interview. I said, yes. I said Come, let, let's just do some prepping. He said, Oh, no, 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 I don't need it. One, <laughs> one big, tall fool. <laughs> he lived with us there. He always used to make me laugh. Yes. <laughs> I said, So, do you know what? The, so well, I'll just go, I'll just tell him, he, he, was just, he was just talking. He speaks plenty English. I said, do you know that you're a fool? <laughs> He's tall, low. tall, a big fool. So I said, but do you know you're a big fool? He, he said, why would I say that? I said, let's, let's talk. Let's do like a prep. Let me ask you a question. He said, no, I don't understand the job he's applying for. I said, okay, tell me about the job. He, told, he was trying to talk. I said, I said, brother, it's better you don't go for this interview. You are not just coordinated at all. You think it's only Bible that I know. And he told me, he said he thought it was only Bible. That I, I said, that's why you are a bigger fool. I said, brother, If, I, if you ever come for my interview, I'll just be laughing all through. And I would like to keep you. We'll just, I'll waste your time. I'll be laughing. No. No. Invite you for a second interview just to laugh again. You are a, you are, you are a fool. Somebody said I'll say no. You see, he claims he knows all yes. things. Yes. But there's someone to teach all yes. things. Then when he heard me talk, 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 I said, hold on. And I went to bring out my resume, the last resume I used for a job. I said, read this. He said, wow. This and that. I said, you are a fool. <laughs> Give me my resume. <laughs> Before he was, as he was about to go, I said, let me see your resume. <laughs> he said he will print it as staples. I said, you see why you're a bigger fool? Oh! You are just foolish all the way. <laughs> you were never prepared. No resume. You, what if light in Staples turns off? And he told me this is not Africa. I said, that's why you are another big fool. <laughs> As though there are no power surges in America. I said, this guy is a big, big idiot. And he didn't get the job. He came back and said, welcome back. I said, he walked there. I said, ah! <laughs> there is a, no, no. I wasn't the one troubling him. He troubled himself. He was the one troubling his own Israel. I even wanted to teach him. I said, this one. He thinks it's the only Bible that I know. Have you ever tried to talk to someone? Because I know, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. Ah. Okay. Since you know, sister, no. Brother, no. <laughs> Brother, I know. <laughs> Brother, I know. <laughs> ah. Who should we call that? You don't want to answer it again. Oh, brother, teach me. Please teach me. Teach me. I want to learn. <laughs> Oh, Mesa. Blessed be God! Blessed be God! You know, one day our papa was teaching me something. So he said, oh, said I know you know this. I said, no, sir, please teach me. <laughs> I don't know it. He explained me. He said, I know you know this. I said, no, sir. Just teach me, sir. I want to learn. He said, good. Then he began to show me dimensions. I said, thank you, sir. See? Sometimes someone can test you like that. Mm -hmm. And when you say, you know, you know, you know, you know, ah. Like that tall fool. <laughs> you will go out full, come back empty. Oh! You went out a fool. 
he came back an idiot. Ah. Yes. <laughs> That's the truth. <laughs> That's how they are. Oh no, I'm a successful I'm a success forevermore. Oh man. The influence of the Holy Spirit on my memory. Yes. The Holy Spirit needs to influence my memory. You have my permission, Holy Spirit. Teach me and influence my memory. He is listening. As we're saying this, he's listening to you. Teach me and influence my memory. You have my permission. Control my memory. Blessed be God. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Say hallelujah. Hallelujah. One of the dedicated beautiful baby. Amen. Amen. So let, let the parents and the baby come. Let's quickly do that. I like you.